This should be fine, right? Game number four today, and we start on Lost Temple, a legendary map. And I love those games here on Lost Temple. Together with Goldshire, my favorite two and two map. In blue, we have Remind and Lucifer. Starting with the Keeper of the Grove, they are 0 2 at the moment, so they desperately need this win. Starting off with Single Huntress build. While it's just Demon Hunter Archers for Snake, who's creeping his natural expansion that is level 2 for him. They have, well, definitely better starting positions for Remind and Lucifer, but he doesn't even care. Like, I built my Tree of Life here, it doesn't matter if my opponent is close to me or not. Uh oh, can he get rid of the Ancient of War? He needs to do some repair. Keeper of the Rope is quite hurt, gets the kill here. Yeah, there we go. But Engine of War stays alive, he gets level 2, no creep has been stolen, and I think it would have been wiser by Remind to kill that creep that was super hurt and not kill that archer to prevent level 2. A player's forces are under attack. <coughs> yeah, that keeper has to run now. In the meantime, of course, Lucifer's Mission is creep, 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 creep. And that's what he does. Get some items here in the middle of the temple that benefits... Oh, actually there's no demon hunters, so... The claws are good for the lich, but that's about it. Second engine of war. Second engine of war. Mass hunters and fiends, that is the standard. And that is what won TED and High New the GCS competition. We have a tree of life here. Actually nicely protected by Huntress Hall and Engine of War. Haven't seen that in a while. And Snake is following up with the second Engine of War himself, so he will mass Huntress as well. In the meantime, Tier 2 tech halfway through. And I wonder how they deal with the timing, because the Undead Night Elf... Uh, I was just about to say, the Undead Night Elf timing at the beginning of Tier 2 is super hard to counter. But they pressure on tier 1 with an AP push? <coughs> okay. They want to get rid of the expansion. Detonate against the skeletons, so there's not too much damage, but three fiends already. Definitely Lucifer was feeded here. The expansion goes up, but is hurt, and there's not much to repair, but also not much damage. Oh, he kills a lot, man. Snake is under pressure. Now the repair comes in. But the Huntress take care of that and the Fiends, man. The Volleys kill a Wisp instantly and the Demon Hunter is hurt as well. Can they knock it down or not? They have to commit to this now. Otherwise the whole push is for nothing and they kill it. And that's the bad thing about expanding here when you're not in the safe spot between the two bases. But actually, they get quite a few kills there. Another backstab, second Fiend. Yeah, dies as well. So, level 3 already for Kil'jin. A town is under siege. Does he have another entangle? No, he doesn't. So, not too much to do here. Is Lucifer attacking? Yes, he is. But quite late, I think. So, it's always a double-edged sword. Like, if will you expand aggressively at your own starting position? Will you move over the Wisp and lose some time? But be in a safer spot. They decided to go for the aggression. And yeah, that's what happens. AP is there, making sure that this tree of life will not come up. But there's another one. When aggression doesn't work, play it safe. And Lucifer is cleaning up this spot for... Is it level 3? I kind of doubt it. Nope, shouldn't be enough. Except if he has... Ah, he is tier 2. So he gets the experience bonus. That means he gets level 3. Yeah, he does. And yeah, the Night Elf will just feed the undead. And usually they play, like, Ted and Hainu, they play a hard and early tier 2 push. I think they will go with destroyers even here. It's not attacking though. Not yet. Lich in Slaughterhouse before. And I have seen quite a few 2 and 2 games on LT. And usually it's like who gets the middle gets the game. 
Arc of Reincarnation. Not that great though. Oh, they killed the Huntress Hall. No more Huntress for Snake. I think it's definitely worth the time, because usually you would like mass up to 50 supply to have that these buffer units Huntress. But the case here, but nice counter timing by Kildren. They have to go for the slaughterhouse, I guess, to get for the Lich. Is of course a juicy, juicy target. There is a coil flying though at level 2 coil. It's so good. Will they actually accomplish nothing? Save TP to save the fiends here. But the Tomb of Relics is still up. The Slaughterhouse is still up. The Lich survived. And he didn't lose too many fiends, so I think this was a really nice defense. While Remind, with his level 1 Keeper of the Grove and the Huntress, are causing some trouble in the main. Expansion about to start, but Remind is counter expanding as well. And Snake is actually almost supply stuck. They're split pushing again. But there's two engines of war. I mean, they can get the Moon Wills. And they defend here, he's going for the Tree of Life. Fully committing to the Tree of Life, but nope, not enough. Damage output, not enough. He will lose another Huntress. Yeah. Two Huntress and the TP. Oh, but now he has to fight here. Uh oh, oh, Keeper of the Grove gets to the Moon Wells. He needs some help. He needs some help. He can't get it though, or can he? No, no Frost Armor, nothing. Level 4 on the Blade Master already. But now Lucifer is there, and he's cleaning house with the Orc army as it seems. Yeah, TP out. How many Raiders will he lose? Only one most likely? No, not even one. So in the end, it was quite a good split push there. Kept this tree alive. Forced the town portal. Didn't lose too much. Interesting base build by Remind, by the way. And got the Keeper of the Grove. So... Only tier 2 tech here. Double beastery, though. Mass Raiders. Reminiscent of uh, Grubby, of course. But yeah, Lucifer going to tier 3. And that's where the problems for Kildjin and Snake begin. Does he have an orb? No, but... Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. He got to the red spot already. I kind of missed that. But got the class plus 12, which is the one of the yeah, best items for a ledge. I mean, in 2 and 2, maybe not that great, but... Still, man. That ledge is gonna be a beast. Player's Once he has the are under attack. Heal wards again. Tom of experience, of course, well appreciated. Level 4, 3. Hero levels are good, man. And. Oh, he's trapping a few hunters there. There's a town portal, so. Can't get too much done. Except nuking him. <laughs> but it's not enough. Maybe rather nuke Huntress. I don't know. Force the town portal, 350 gold golden, especially in 2 and 2. You need them so bad, like the town portals. So my relic's gone means no statues anymore. But I think you can rebuild it in time. No TP, but on the other side he has Windwalk, so it's alright. I think Kildren is kind of... saving their team's asses here. Even if he walks into a surround now, but since... But his actions bought the time for this expansion to come up, and that's what you need. I mean, Remind is mining already. I love that they have a Night Elf shop in the Undead base. Are under so clarity is possible. And we have the next fight. Uh-oh, Keeper dying for the second time. No TP, no potion, nothing. And Lucifer is kind of on his own now. I mean, there are 44 supply Huntress, and they block good, but... Thorn's Aura is quite helpful against Mass Raiders. Trying to get another surround here. Snake is out of the fight. Speed scroll. And he gets it. It's level 2.5 on the Lich. Shouldn't it be enough? I mean... He has to portal, right? Is there some cavalry here? No. At some point he has to portal, otherwise it's down. Or do they want to decide the game now? 700 gold at one point. The bad thing about this army I was about to say is that they don't have that much damage against building, but with 
48 supply hunters. That is the case. So they trade. There's a town portal, but with only five hunters against five fiends, that's impossible. Oh, they try it though. To hold it. Aggressive town portal right into the fiends. Kildren is coming from the south as well. Oh, that heal ward. This build though, but he has more. <clears throat> 34 supply for snake only. Can Kildren carry this or not? But I don't know, man. TP out, so they keep the expo alive, lose two fiends, and feed the blade master. And remind, of course, without heroes, he has to run away. Running away against raiders is not a smart option. A Does he have the damage to clean it up, though? Yeah, I think this is well calculated. Nicely done by Kildren again. Carries the team. <laughs> and remind. Playing a bit ballsy here, expanding at the natural of Snake. Of course, super easy to push once they find out about it. Oh, Cripplot third. Style points. Impale is, of course, a nice spell if it's ground units only. Damage and a little stun. And area of effect. And, of course, you can't get... A panda or a dark ranger or anything on lost temple because there's no tavern Expansion has been scouted and has been killed And the raider play continues 42 supply only for remind Two APs though, but they are not in range for this and Snake is coming here as well. The Keeper of the Grove this time was a little smarter and got himself an Invo Potion. But this position for the Undead is also... Ah, it's okay. -ish. Where's the first Impale? Not using it right now. He does have only one. Colnova used on a Raider, but that's gonna be easily replaced. And Snake decides to expand for the second time. Do mind trying to get the third base up desperately? They need to catch up. A player's forces are under attack. A snake is constantly mining and mining and mining. Hex to prevent the impale. For, <coughs> for now at least. There we go. Lots of action here in this first set. And will this lich carry? He has to, I think. Once they are destroyers, then of course all the hunters are useless. But there's raiders on the other side to counter them, so... Hard to say. Orcrus' undead fight without a Dark Ranger, without a Pit Lord, is quite hard to do. Blade Master taking care of the statues and the heal ward. Finally level 3. He does have mana for one more, but the Crypt Lord is about to die, hexing the Death Knight to prevent the coil. Well done. Kildren has those hex timings down, man. He's really good at that. And now the heal wave, heal ward is working in his favor. And they are just playing this so much better. Snake is losing this fight here. But that's totally fine, since the Night Elves, this is just disposable units. And if the Keeper of the Grove gets to level 3, then what? Forces are under attack. Zero zero attack on the fiends. Crypto is back. Shadow Hunter has a mana potion, which is nice. Two two upgrades already, plus the Kodo. That's such a major difference. Zero upgrades on the Korean team. against four and the blade master is almost five so you know what that means we have protection plus three and master master level four there as well and they find the expansion again and remind is not in a position to fight with that keeper of the grove i think he needs help well, he does have a good amount of hunters but the demon hunter is worth so much more as an arm can be focused but remind is doing the one Right thing. And focus the units here. Oh, but right clicks. A player's 
forces are under attack. I think the expo st stays alive for now. He actually wins that fight. And again, he's running up that choke. The statue, where is that statue? Completely out of position. What an invitation to get rid of the healing. Nice impale. And the first destroyer up, but he will be end snared, I think, in a bit. Plus, he has the orb of lightning, so can be easily chased. Shadowhunter, though, in trouble. 64 supply for the orc. 44 for Lucifer, and he's still taking that fight. He has to TP out now. Another impale. Is he lucky enough? No, Pitlot survives this time. But yeah, he has to fight this now. A little bit of experience. Lich was in trouble. Pit Lord was in trouble. But he bought time. All of a sudden, he has two running gold mines. But the orc is so strong. He can't afford all the town portals anymore. Players forces are Lucifer was portaling everywhere. And now this is too late. Nice, nice, nice split pushes by Kildren and Snake. TC third, by the way, as we mentioned before. Auras, of course, twice as good. Helm of Valor, meh, especially in 2 and 2, really weak. Now he's protecting it with engines of war. Okay, can't afford a Temple of the Damned with Banshees. Okay. You should have a lot of time for possession, right? A player's forces are under attack. Snake, by the way, ventured into tier two with triple lore and bears. Okay, it can easily afford it. I mean, the fifth gold mine is coming up for the red team, but the keeper of the grove almost dying. Man dodges the critical strike with the town portal. But it's not looking good for the Koreans now. The Chinese, they have the timings down. They always find the angles to attack. I mean, he's not even fully mining this. And causes another town portal. Another 350 gold. The heroes are not, like, super overwhelming. He scouted the Temple of the Damned now, sees the Banshee. He has one curse, but I mean, with a critical strike, it's a one-shot, as you saw. The Knight of Army hiding in the temple a bit, waiting for Lucifer and Remind to leave the expansion. This is so well done. But he has to fight now, again, using this choke. Oh, nice impale though, nice impale. Slaughterhouse is gone. So no more statues, no more destroyers. <coughs> but maybe he is venturing into Master Banshees. Let me see. Now with bears. With Huntress he had a lot of trouble keeping this alive. Now with a bear? And he can afford the town portals. Easily. He's getting backstabbed a little. Even saving this Huntress with region, man. Level 5 on the Demon Hunter. Both first heroes level 5. And while he is still... Causing some trouble here and distracting here. Kildren is already on the way back. Oh, this time he wants to sandwich. I don't think that's a good idea. A player's forces are under attack. I love how Kildren is constantly sniping the statues in the fights and putting so much focus on. On the slaughterhouse. It's definitely a weak spot for Undead. He's tearing him a new one here. There is a bit of impale, but of course you can't hit that much. Kodo has even eaten and will devour it super quick. We don't see too many misses. 200 crit. There's actually no curse on the Blade Master. Big mistake. Everywhere else, but not on the Blade Master. But Remind and Lucifer, both exquisite 2-2 two two players back in the day, 
Remind with Soju and Lucifer, of course, with Captain Sexy Cecilia. They hold this! But what's their saving grace? Like, what? what is their win condition? They are tier 3 already. There's so many Dryads now. Remind did tech. Okay, he's getting Dryads of his, uh, himself. Maybe wagons behind this? 80 supply for Snake. Remind, by the way, supply stack now. Oh, what a horrendous timing. He just has the lores up. He just wants to... Nice step. Just wants to start production. And now he's supply stack. There's a lot of piercing damage. Thanks to the bottom, who's now providing bonus damage. But can he really break through all those strides? Not with Kilchen in this fight as well. TC level 2 GG. Yeah, no way. No, no, no way to win this. Very, very fine execution by Kildren and Snake, who show once again why they are constantly invited to 2-2 two two tournaments and why they are one of the best 2-2 two two teams in the world. I like that play. I mean, you could argue that it's lame or anything, but it's so smart. You do the same in Dota, you do the same in one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, and the next map is freaking Goldshire! Someone here wants to please me. <laughs> Goldshire, hands down, best 2 on 2 map ever created. Like, I have no idea how you can run a 2 on 2 tournament without Goldshire. It's the best. Hey, Ina, nice to see you. Will we be able to download the replays? The replays will be sent to your Twitch inbox if you are a subscriber of this channel. We send out every single replay that we cast. And you can watch them on your own computer. <coughs> we have a few new subs. Boswell21 for five months. Uh, as always, thanks for the great work. Love you guys. Love you too, man. And Carl has subscribed for two months. Thank you very much. Shout out to Dreadlords. I would love to see a Dreadlord. Yeah, and if you like 2 and 2, and if you love to play 2 and 2 yourself, as you just saw, you don't have to be uh, the best 2 and 2 player or the best solo player. Sometimes strategy wins your games in 2 and 2. And Ina and Yoss, they are running a. 2-2 two two tournament on December 27. Everybody can sign up. It's on the ESL homepage. So shout out to you two again. And sign up for the cup. $750 prize pool. And 2-2 two two is always fun. I mean, I'm like the worst player in the history of this planet. And even I have fun in 2-2 two two because I can hide behind the person who's better than I. So... What did you mean by experience bonus on tier 2 in the beginning? You get a experience boost on tier 2 if you play solo hero. I don't really know how much it is actually, but the higher your tier is, and if you still play solo hero, then you get bonus experience. So that's why if you want like Russian ultimate or something, then it's very beneficial if you play solo hero. So, game starts. Oh, they swap colors. That is quite bad. I will fix it on the fly. First we go in game and then I fix it. That is a little easier for me. Thank <laughs> you. 
is this right here? There we go! Kildren and Snake 1, Reminded Lucifer 0, and welcome to the greatest 2 and 2 map of all time, that is Goldshire. In the bottom, we have the Chinese team that has taken the lead, with Blade Master Demon Hunter again, no big deviation from this. Engine of War Creep, I think, immediately towards the expansion, could be a little hard, but definitely doable. On the other side, Keeper of the Grove again, and there's no surprise here that Lucifer will be... Uh, Fat with a late DK, early fiends, lots of fiends, and lots of creeping. Actually, I don't know the reason why this map is so great, but almost every single game that I see on this map is phenomenal. If Reminded Lucifer lose this map, they, they are 0-3, which is quite a shame. Like... If you compare how, like, what a legacy they have. But of course they don't practice it that much. Kill Chayo forever! Yeah, exactly, man. So he's not starting with a gold mine, but he will clean it up fairly fast. Late Master's going to the north. Back to get to the shop, and the DK is spawning as well. Keeper of the Grove, of course, looking for trouble, looking for some entangle kills. But I don't think he can get it that, that super fast tech by Kildren, one burrow, and again. Whoa! Double fast tech against mass? I don't really know if that's working out. Like, the problem usually is, nice that he can creep this alone, um, what was I about to say? Oh yeah, the timing of Night of Undead, at the early stage of tier 2, is so sick and so strong. You will see it in the upcoming days when Ted and Hainu play. Do they play this Players tournament? No, right? Are, under attack. are they in... No, they are not in Group A. So unfortunately, we will not see it, but... When they won GCS in the fall, they had like the best timing I've ever seen Night of Undead play. And nobody was able to break it. It was so sick. Is the fast tech, is that the solution? I don't know, but Lucifer creeps up to level 3. Doesn't put that much pressure on it. A player's forces are under attack. So they get the time for that tech. They get the time for creeping at levels. I don't know if they should be super greedy and go fast tech expansion, but it doesn't look like it. Remind is doing it though, most likely. With a wisp positioned here. It doesn't have the gold though. Level 3! And the Scroll of the Beast! That's nice. That's really nice. If they push... Um, Kildren Space now, which is a little hard because you have to walk this way. And can't attack into this. Then it would be great. I mean, it's kind of wasted in a Night Elf base because you can't dispel it the entire time. Entangle, but there is Windwalk. Yeah. So, we do have 30 Supply and 32. Versus 26 and 27. That Okay, they are going to the Orc. That could keep him supply stuck forever. He started the Shadow Hunter, which is nice, but the fast tech now is kind of bad because... Oh, nice position for the Beast Rear. I was just about to say, because he can't really get the tier 2 production buildings up, but it seems like he can. Going for the shop, going for the burrow, mass repair. And where is Snake? He needs to help. The damage output is so sick. Plus 7 on each fiend. Blade Master is super low. That was the final heal potion. He doesn't have a shop anymore. But the Shadow Hunter is coming out. Hunters can't do too much at the moment. Level 2. Keeper of the Grove. So the Grunts will hurt if they attack. 
Good call management so far, but here comes the dispel. Also against the scroll of the beast, obviously. Shadow Hunter is out, and that helps. Does it help enough though? So 500 gold on Lucifer's side, plus the expo is coming up. And even if oh, serpent wards first. I like. Easily killed though by the range. <laughs> Little better positioning would be cool. Because they don't have that much HP. Actually, don't manage to supply stuck him, but now they do. A player's forces are under attack. Yeah, and what do I have to say, man? Look at the supply. 74 in total versus not even 60. That's why this timing is so hard and the Entangle forces the Town Portal again. Expo one third up. Pardon second into Dryads. Okay. Raider Dryads against this. If they hold on for quite some time, then the Hunters don't do shit anymore. But... Lucifer is getting the money, Lucifer is getting the second tier, Lucifer is getting the tier 3 tech, and Lucifer is getting the star. Plus, they are one gold mine up. Expand now as well, right? Oh, is there a wisp? Yeah, there is. But I think he needs some dryads first. And he knows that as well. So the next creeping phase begins, and this item carrying creep is already gone. I don't know how a Okay, this one is still there. And this one is entirely crept. So this blade master creeping in the early game made this so much weaker. Otherwise he would have gotten a shitload of experience from this spot, from this spot, and from the shop. And now, since Kildren and Snake know it, that there's not too much to get in the north, they go south. Oh, that's cool. And there's the red spot, so uncon they get the rest red spot uncontested if they are fast enough. Is under Plus the Blade Master resting already. The multitasking and how they plan things is really exceptional, I think. A player's forces are under attack. Ooh, Zeppelin drop! Sneaky Remind! Let's put almost down. Well, of course we have to take an eye on the Zeppelin. I'm just waiting for the item, then we're gonna swap over. Swap over. Katka's Pipe of Inside, oh yeah! But what's it worth if you lose your main? Mass Repair with the Bouncing Glaives are of course doing area of effect damage towards all the repairing with Nice Micro by Snake! Saving a lot of wisp, but only for a limited amount of time. How much damage does he do here? He cancelled the entangled gold mine, but that's about it. He evacuates a few wisps. That's level 3 on the keeper. Well done. The night mining for a bit. This expansion is still not up. DK is not scary, Lich is not scary, how far along are we with attack? Destroyer upgrade, 70%, and again, a Crypt Lord. <coughs> Do you agree with this? I mean, Crypt Lord has a lot more targets in 2 and 2. He is quite tanky later on, but isn't there something better in the tavern? A player's forces are under Remind, attack. by the way, still tier 1. AP there. Lots of static defense for him now too. Oh, the Shadow Hunter. What is he doing there alone? can save the... Whoa, nicely done! Using the coil to weaken it and then using the Nova to kill both. That was sweet! Oh, the chicken block! Players' forces are under attack. So, we are out of the stage where 
Mass is just winning the game for Lucifer and Remind. Because the tech is so advanced. It's only 36 for Kil'jin. He lost so much. Kodo is coming now. I think this is a great timing for Remind and Lucifer to push. They have the orb. They have four lightning shields. They have a heal scroll or something. Yeah, heal scroll and protection scroll. Plus the healing from the statues. I don't think this tree is gonna survive. They're coming back though. A player's the Chinese, but the numbers speak against them. They tried to go for a demolisher against the Huntress, but I don't know. Serpent wards, demolishers, that's their damage. All the heroes surrounded. Well done. What an annihilation of this Shadow Hunter. No chance for him at all. Completely caught on wrong footing. Demon Hunter super low as well. Level up on the bottom, but it's only Searing Arrow. I think they should take this home, the Koreans. There's quite a bit of mana on the DK to heal things up. Scroll protection being used. Not dispelled. Where are the Wisps? Level 3 on the Lich, so Nova just got better. If he has mana, which he doesn't. Crypt Lord in trouble! Coil saves him, almost level 2, and then Sky, uh, Spike Carapace. So good against Demon Hunter and Blade Master. Basically like Thorns Aura, just a passive, and he's going for the Demon Hunter. Is there a kill? Not ready yet. Also no Impale. But I wonder, like... He lets this Demolisher survive for such a long time. Invo Potion now, Spike Carapace activated. And finally they get rid of it. Still like 90 supply. Demon Hunter falls! And the Crypt Lord as well, but that trade you do all the time. And another chicken block. <laughs> they want to cuddle. And this timing for Undead Night Elf. That works so much better on a map like Goldshire. Because it's a lot smaller. And the next hero kill will come. Surround. She's revealed though. Boom! Level 5 on the DK. Yeah, there is no rescue. GG! And again, we go into map number 3. Which, of course, makes me very happy to cast as many games as possible. And we could see the first series win of a. Remind loose per team in this competition. Thank you, Dave Boy, for the first time sub. Much appreciated. And what's left? Total Rock, Twisted. Ah, we go on to Twisted. The deciding match. Let's see. Let's take a look at the standings in Ted's 2 and 2 Cup. I hope this is updated. No, it's not. Uh, I think I have to do it real quick. So. Kil'jin and Snake are one win, one loss, right? Fly and Shishi are 2 1. That means. Okay, I will show it to you. It's not sorted at the moment. Uh, no. This means. Yumiko and WFZ still with a clean sheet. If Kilton and Snake lose this, then it looks very bad for them, since Fly and Shishi defeated them and have a 2-1 record. Then they almost have to win against Yumiko and WFZ, so... Doesn't look that nice. I think uh, the conclusion of the group stage is tomorrow. I cannot cast, unfortunately. I have to work. But Chaco will stream it, most likely. How did Infi and TH lose two matches? They lost against uh, 1 to 0 and Shao KK. I don't know if they played double orc. That <laughs> would be fun. And they lost against Check and Focus. 
Infi and TH are not that great with double human. They never made it far in the 2-2 two two tournaments. I think they never made top 4. If I'm not mistaken. Number three, decision time. Those color colors. I swap the colors again. Okay, let's go again and then change it. I was so happy that we don't have to adjust the colors anymore, as usually our tool does it automatically. But, since it doesn't work for 2 and 2, I have to do it manually again. All the struggle. So. Twisted it is. Again, a bigger map. Again. A little better for Kildren and Snake. And he's trying to go for it again, as he did against uh, Fly and Shishi. That was our first series of today. Ooh. Ooh, there is an engine of war here. We mind wanting to distract. Oh no, it's actually Snake, sorry, against Remind. So yeah, with the engine of war here, I don't think he can mass as he wants, and that delays everything. And that's what you want, that's what you need. Delay stuff for the Night Elf Undead team. Every single second counts, I think. So, he was forced to go for the Engine of War early. That delays the Huntress all a bit, as you can see now. And I don't know if he still goes Mass Huntress, but I think he has to, right? Single Huntress doesn't work that well. Since he has to feed Lucifer, otherwise this tactic doesn't work. And Snake himself, well, we built one engine of war, and now it's time for single Huntress. Works way better Ooh, with an Orc ally, are under attack. since he has blockers as well. And now he's just annoying. Late Master harasses as well, Demon Hunter runs straight over. So remind that Lucifer don't have time for their masses, I like that play. We might won't get the Hunter's all up. Too much damage. One fiend is there. But that tree with a little cannibalism before. Actually, it's close. He denies a lot of attack with Entangle, but nope! Doesn't work out. And now Demon Hunter Blade Master combo is so superior to Keeper of the Grove DK. What can they do, man? There's so much right click damage. In this army, a player's forces are. He actually goes attack. mass engine of war or mass mass hunters. Okay, interesting. <laughs> now remind builds the hunters hall here, but it gets caught, and he cancels it immediately. Otherwise, the creeps would have been pulled, I guess. So, and since the engine of war is now necessary for the damage, it can't produce anything. And there's still no Hunter's Hall. This is a horrendous early game. Surrounding with Players fiends almost impossible though. Attack. And Kildren starts his creeping. With a tech. One and a half tech there. And mass Hunter's production starts. Lucifer only now teching. Because he couldn't get fed. There's almost no lumber remaining on Remind's side. This is not looking good for him. So simple, yet so effective. Early tier 1 pressure. But this time he doesn't get the Hunter's Hall, so Remind can breathe for a little bit. Forces are under attack. Nice. Well calculated. One backstep, one attack from a grunt. Secures the kill. 
And for the first time, Lucifer doesn't get the time to creep. On LT, he was quite alone until level 2. On Goldshy, he was level 3 before he even saw his enemy. But now, he's barely level 2. And this is a nice block. Snake is uh, su surprising me with some cool moves. On Goldshire, he saved a lot of wisps with good micro. Now he blocks and gets the kill. Lose the Huntress, but he got so much mana out of it. Plus the team. It's definitely worth the trade. There's my evasion. I like it against fiends. Tier 2, 70% done, but here we have it. Alta, double beast to me again. Very reminiscent of Lost Temple, where mass raiders were very, very good for kills in. the mage I hear, Demon Hunter? Oh, does he want to take that risk? The forces are there were a few coils, but moving out of the way for fatal damage can be done. A more experience with the dream here now. To get double upgrades. Nope, not knowledge only. Lucifer's army is quite hurt. Of course, they need to stall a little bit more time now to get the raiders online. But then, I think this is looking very good. A player's forces are under attack. Only three hunters. And he's not attacking. Ah, okay. He's uh, massing. Didn't see the engine, the second engine of forces yet. Oh. Denied the huntress, so no thorns are up. And a big mana potion for the Shadow Hunter. A lot of stuff is going right for the Chinese here. Forces are under attack. Especially with almost every single fiend herd, with a DK herd. You can go to the shop for skeletons, not for potions. Let me use a potion. Fate Master is just chewing through this. One more coil in a bit, but will it be enough? Frost armor is helping so much, and now Remind comes in from the north. And since the orc isn't here, Snake has to retrieve. A player's forces are under so attack. Another copy. Shadowhunter gets all the time in the world, man. Seriously. He is detected though, but no nuke, no disable anymore. And this is like, now this army would be strong, but Lucifer cannot stay in the fight. The Bouncing Glaives will tear his fiends apart. First one dead, second one dead, level 2 on the Demon Hunter with boots, can easily run away. Might lose one or two hunters about this, but who cares. So they do have the mass of Huntress now, but with only two fiends, there's no way. Pendant of energy and the potion of greater matter. Yep. That's the Shadow Hunter's dream. Plus a Stubby Mask and then you're super settled. Still no techs, still no the expansions. Forces are under attack. Ah, there's one, just as I say it. Cast his curse. experience <laughs> and the lion horn so at least one aura here what can you do against yo-yo head shrinker so many heal waves coming their way 43 supply for snake 46 for kildren 38 only in 48 here and this is basically the same as it was on LT. Harassment by Snake, split pushes by Kilton. I wonder if he has pillage. I didn't see it. I don't think so, though. 
player's forces are under attack. And we have ourselves a little Huntress Mirror. Will the other parties join this fun? Or do they have to fight this alone? Makes sense with Lucifer there now. Interesting to just throw away this impale. He has one more though. Oh, the Shadow Hunter. Ah, oh, okay, he has the town portal. All right. What is the Keeper of the Grove doing there? The Shadow Hunter is in trouble as well. There has to be a town portal soon. Yeah, there we go. Otherwise, it would have been really risky, but he comes out with a critical strike. Executes the first hero of Remind Man. Everything is going against the Koreans in this game. <coughs> From, like, moment one on. Player's forces are under when Kildren decided not to go for the creep, when he was when both decided to be aggressive, and this is gonna be tier three. Kodo upgrade into one two is just so sick. They want to counter with double slaughterhouse, but Snake says no, shuts the door right in his face, and at the same time Kildren says no to the keeper. I don't care if there's an AP or not, I don't care if there's Entrance of War. Mass Siege damage and Remind and Lucifer, it seems like they can't really decide where to defend. Remind has to walk now. But his base is getting shredded. 36 time remaining, now comes Lucifer, but very aggressive TP. That's not how it's supposed to be, he decides to nuke the Shadow Hunter again. But of course you want the Hunters up front and the Fiends behind there. And behind there are the statues so they are safe from the Blade Master. Triple slaughterhouse is the plan. Okay. Or maybe he's just sure that he can't get this stuff, can't keep the stuff going up. Remind is supply stuck, Lucifer is supply stuck. And there's five acolytes on a silver platter. But he decides to TP out. Just to be more safe. He accomplished a lot. And oh my god. He's ready. He's so ready for this. Two buildings down in less than a second. I don't think they will ever be not supply stuck again. And the last glimpse of hope for Remind and Lucifer, man. I think it's just falling apart for him. For them. They had to win all their matches. Going into this day 5 of Ted's 2 and 2 tournament as they was were 0 2 before. So, what do we do with tier 3? Reinforced defenses and more upgrades. Nothing fancy yet. A player's forces are under attack. Keeper of the Grove, man. Four, four, guy, whoa, that moon juice was important. And so the invul is wasted. He does have another wind walk, but he has to use it to get out of there. Rest of the army is coming though. Shadow Hunter with 480 mana plus a heal scroll. But what can you do if there's Coil Nova? Not too much. Lucifer seeing the crack in the shield. And exploiting it. There were some zappers. He got rid of three ziggurats. So he's supply stuck again. <laughs> and remind his supply stuck again as well. So how do they want to react if they can't get the numbers? Expansion coming up here. Expansion is up here. And no way to counter expand. The town is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. And Remind is still without income. It's four gold mines versus one now. And he has to keep this alive, otherwise he's out of gold. I mean, Lucifer can feed, but nope. He can't even town portal in this base. This base is toast. So, what can we do against Shishi's base? 
He's getting rid of a bit. Shishi space. Snake space. The wisps are gone. That's good. The static defense is gone. And the hunters, man? I'm taking care of this haunted gold mine. This is just a matter of time. Does he have pillage now or what? Yes, he does. So Remind clears this house. Lucifer loses his house almost. Did he get the... Okay, he said 40 supply. Like 44 out of 40. That means he can almost buy again. Buy stuff again. Yeah, picture perfect base race. Both Knight of Faces completely wiped out. And now it's Orc versus Undead with Knight of Support. Forty-four versus seventy-one. Like I mean, even if your blade master is underwhelming, if you have such a numbers game running for you, how do you want to lose? That's around. All players' forces are under attack. There a wisp left for Remind even? Yeah, one. But not enough gold! And Lucifer is struggling with gold as well because so many acolytes got killed, he has to reproduce them first. And against that, we have, okay, a lazy entangled gold mine there, but three gold mines running. Nice impale though! But does it really matter? He needs a lot of luck with his Blade Master and Demon Hunter, and then maybe. Uh, I mean. What am I saying? With the Demon Hunter to be a carry or something, but there is no Demon Hunter. They don't need luck on the Blade Master and Demon Hunter, I'm sorry about that. He needs to nuke a bit, but this is not working at all. It's just the pure mass that is way too much. Destroyer in the air now, but I don't know for how much longer. Close to level 4 Blade Master, which will be level 2 crit then. Keeper is stepping out for once. <coughs> But leaving Lucifer alone there against a big mass of red, and that means 2-1 for Kil'jin and Snake, who are 2-1 now, and Lucifer and Remind losing every single game so far in this tournament. Was it actually their first map they got? No, they won a map against Yumiko and WFZ as well. Against Fly and Shishi, they lost 2-0. So, we have one more best of three for you. And now, things become really interesting. Yumiko and WFC, Human Undead, a combo that is rarely seen in the history of Warcraft 3. But creative Yumi makes it work. And I can't wait to show it to you. Small little break. Then we'll be back with the final game of today's Day 5 of Tet's 2 and 2 Cup. Be right back. 